This art activity is a follow-on from the previous one on mark making. Um, the previous one was about biro pen mark making. So this mark making um, video is about oil pastels. And we're going to be using some of the techniques that we used in the biro pen video. <clears throat> but we're going to be using oil pastel. So, for the tree um, that I'm going to be drawing, I'm going to be using some blue, some uh, dark green and some light green. And I'm also going to be using some brown, sort of a, a darker yellow then a lemon yellow and a sort of a green grey. Okay, so those are the colours that I'm going to be using. So mark making, <clears throat> it's all about um, making different lines, different patterns, different textures um, on paper and achieving different effects. Um, and for this particular exercise, I'm going to be using a tree again. So I've already started to make some um, additions to this. So I've already started to add some of the marks. So coming back to the sheet that I would recommend you all to make as a reference um, and a guide, um, divide the page up how it suits you. So if you wanted a bigger, bigger space um, than this, that is totally fine. Okay. So let's just summarize the different marks that we're going to be making. So for um, the grass in this particular picture or for grass in any particular picture, you would use strokes. So you would use a stroking um, pattern, a uh, mark making pattern. Very similar to what we were doing in the biro pen is that you would use different um, lightness and heaviness of touch. The main difference between um, the biro pen and obviously the oil pastel is the type of texture that you're going to get from the pastel itself. So you're going to get you're going to be able to blend the colors to achieve thicknesses, depths. So you've got quite a more of a deep um, a deep <clears throat> image of the grass there, whereas that's more of a lighter image. And we've put three colors into this one and one into this one. So you can see the types of marks and the types of different effects that you can get just from that particular mark. So let's look at blending and doppling. Now this one, for this one, we have used a lighter green and we use heavier strokes for this because it really requires it in order to see it on the page. Additional material that you'll need for oil pastel working is tissue paper. Now this is tissue paper that you wrap presents with or that you pad out about a box with. So this is the tissue paper that you get, the scrunchy kind. So in order to blend it in a way that would achieve this from this, you would grab it between your fingers and rub it in a circular motion in a clockwise direction. Okay. This will not lift or remove any of the oil pastel. It will simply blend it. Okay. And that's what we've done here on these. So we're going to finish these off today in this exercise. 
Now we we'll move on to cross hatch. So cross hatch is when you would cross lines. So with an oil pastel, very similar to the Byra pen, however, this is obviously much thicker. The more pressure you apply, the darker the color is going to be. Okay. And the lighter the pressure you apply, the lighter the color is going to be. So this is perfect for exploring um, stone or wood surfaces in a picture. So in this picture we would be exploring that with the trunk of the tree. So moving on to springs. Now some of that is achieved, some of that will help achieve um, the foliage in the tree. So that's what we're going to use it for here. And we're also going to build up some texture in that as well. And we're going to be using <clears throat> three colours here. Now in oil pastel blending and even in, and in oil pastel mark making, there are no particular rules. However, there is a tip um, that you'll come across um, in other um, tutoring materials and other tips on oil pastels. And the common thing is a rule of three. So if you're blending any more than three colours, you will start to get some problems. So really, really focus on fixing on three or even two colours. Okay, because that will help you to achieve um, the most successful blending. So we're going to move on to finishing the tree. So what I want to show you first is I want to show you more of this, <clears throat> more of this blending and doppling. Okay, now this is where you can take two of the mark making techniques and combine them. So you can combine springs with doppling. And it doesn't matter where you start on the area, as long as the circular motion follows clockwise <clears throat> direction. And as, this, as soon as you start blending you start to notice what's, what needs to happen to get the darkness and the lightness. You start to see what you need to do. Okay, so I'm gonna put some blue dots on here. And I quite, quite like how they just are there anyway, without blending them in. But what we're going to do is we're going to blend them all in. Just now we're going to blend these green dots. Because we're starting to build up and blend. So we're building up and blending. Okay, so I'm going to come back to this.
Okay, now I'm just gonna blend some of these areas and then leave some of the marks. As well, because that's the beauty of mark making. You get these little discoveries that happen, even when you're achieving particular marks, you get these lovely little connections that happen. Okay, so we're going to do some cross hatching. And we're going to do this quite firmly and quite quickly because what I would like you to do is just to follow your own pictures and follow your own trees and enjoy and we'll see you in the next video.